ready to uh, order for our three o'clock meeting. Uh, welcome everybody uh, today. We have a very short agenda today, but in my way of thinking, a very important agenda um, in in many ways that we'll talk about in just a minute. But before I get into the agenda or, or other issues that we're going to talk about, this is likely to be our last full committee meeting. And uh, I just want to say to uh, our wonderful staff, uh, Kay, Michelle, Scott, uh, our legal help, Joe, over here, uh, thank you all more than I know how to articulate uh, for just an outstanding job. It's my opinion, without reservation, you're the best of the best, and we sure appreciate uh, the passionate commitment that you give to all that you do and all that you stand for, and it means so much to us. I also want to thank each and every member of this committee. Um, this is my first first rodeo at this. Uh, uh, I, I put a lot of trust and faith in each and every one of you, and let me tell you, uh, you return that uh, faith and that trust tenfold in my opinion every one of you I I appreciate the deliberations that took place in this committee I, I, I appreciate and respect the pros and cons and the debates that took place in this committee and I want to thank you each and every one of you for the professional manner in which you always conducted yourself I uh, at every minute that we were in the committee I thought was was productive for everybody here and I thank you all for that uh, you all are to be be commended um, and I think we got a tremendous amount of work done because of your professionalism and your integrity that you brought with you to this room every day. And I appreciate that, and I don't want you to leave here ever thinking I took that for granted because I didn't. And I've seen in other committees in this House and even in the Senate um, uh, discord uh, and, and other things uh, different than the way this committee was conducted. And for that, I want you all to know I'm very proud. I'm proud to have served with, with all you all. We may never be together as a whole committee, every single one of us again. So it's it's important that we that we say these things. I uh, I've come through life uh, regretting many times that I didn't say what I felt, and and, and I do want you all to know that I, I appreciate you each individually uh, uh, more than I know how to properly articulate. And I thank you for your service uh, to this state, uh, which was all very very positive and uh, uh, it. It, it gave the entire committee process a good name by the way you, you did that. And thank you, each member of this, this committee. I want to recognize, too, today, and we have a special committee resolution that, uh, that I want to adopt in our minutes today. Uh, and it, it may be hard for me to read this because uh, it, it really does say what I, I'm sure is in the hearts of each and every one of us. And we don't see many of these. Didn't didn't know for sure if we could even do it. Unfortunately, thanks to our our legal guy, uh, who's been just an unbelievable godsend over there, uh, we we were able to to, to get this comprised. And I, I apologize to y'all uh, for reading to you, but but this is worthy of everybody listening to it. This is a this is a resolution by the Ways and Means Committee, and I and I am going to read it. Uh, and please bear with me. Commending Honorable Bill Cummings and for other purposes. Whereas Honorable Bill Cummings has faithfully represented the citizens of Floyd and Polk counties with dynamic distinction, steadfast dedication, and ardent ability during his tenure as a member of the House of Representatives from 1981 until present. And whereas his thoughtful and well-reasoned consideration of the complex matters brought to the House of Representatives and most especially to the House Committee on Ways and Means and his unquestioned integrity and unmatched work ethic earned him the honor, respect, and trust of his colleagues over the years. And whereas this former educator has freely imparted knowledge, wisdom, guidance during his stewardship of service to this committee and has demonstrated the level of leadership ideally expected of elected officials, and of members of this great House of Representatives in particular, and whereas, when one refers to the gentleman from the 16th District, the phrase is meant both literally and figuratively, and he is the nicest and most polite, bona fide Southern gentleman that one could ever hope to meet. And he is a man whose word is his bond and whose handshake is more binding than any contractual obligation could ever be. 
and whereas it is abundantly fitting and proper that the members of this committee, most especially those to whom he so freely imparted advice, encouragement, and friendship, and who regard him with much admiration and respect, pay appropriate tribute to this to the superior service of one of their finest, most distinguished, and most outstanding members. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the House Committee on Ways and Means that the members of this committee commend Honorable Bill Cummings for his many years of in incomparable service to the citizens of Georgia and wish him health and happiness in the future, and be it further resolved that the Honorable Bill Cummings is designated as Gentleman of the House Committee of Ways and Means and that March 21, 2006 is hereby designated Bill Cummings Day in room 133 of the state capitol. So resolved, this, this actually was resolved the 16th day of March. Bill. so much to all your friends and I would love for you to have a chance to respond to us but I wish too that you would honor me and let me exercise the discretion I would like to turn the chair of this meeting and it might be our last over to you to chair the remainder of this meeting and out of respect and admiration for you and the friendship I know we'll have for the rest of our lives You'll thank you Mr. Chairman you're the chair uh, very seldom I'm, I had a loss of words but this happens to be a sincere, truthful loss of words on my part. I said earlier to someone that I'm not going to miss the bills as much as I'm going to miss the comradeship that I have. And, and to you, Mr. Chairman, I think I'm the oldest person on the committee and possibly the oldest in, in years of seniority. I think it was, this is my 24th year on this committee. And uh, I've seen uh, lots of good people on the committee, the Ways and Means Committee, but none any better than this year's group. And, and it's been a pleasure to serve with you. I, I thank all of you. You're my friends, every one of you. I think you know why I'm not going to attempt to, to come back because of my wife's illness. And maybe one of these days I will come back. Miracles do happen. <laughs> but I'll come back to see y'all operate and I'll be here to do everything I can to help you. Thanks. I, 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 more, more than I can tell you, I appreciate this, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. And I'm going to miss you and I'm going to miss all my friends in the hall. Loris, all of you. You, you've just been, excuse me please, you just, you've just been like a big family to me, and I do appreciate that. And Mr. Chairman, with that, I'm ready to start order of business. You would conduct business, Mr. <laughs> Chairman. We're ready for you. Uh, all right, we have. Mr. Martin, I understand that you have a report on Senate Bill 545. Yes, sir. If it please the chair, I would like to report out uh, for Chairman um, Scott that uh, Senate Bill 545, LC 282689, comes to the full committee of, on Ways and Means with a due pass recommendation from subcommittee. Is there any discussion of the recommendation? Do we have anyone that's going to explain it? Yeah, yes, sir. I'm sorry. Mr. Scott, I, excuse me, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much and uh, very happy to present before you today Senate Bill 545 for my good Senator, Senator Jeff Mullis. And uh, this bill is really is a uh, simple bill, and it's something that needs to be done to take care of the home team. Uh, every once in a while you do something to take care of your own, and we have our loyal veterans uh, in this state who often run bingo operations for charitable purposes. This is the case uh, in, in uh, northwest Georgia, and 
this bill is simply going to make it such that the uh, charitable proceeds that are raised as a result of bingo are actually spent on Georgia charities. And with that, I ask for your favorable consideration of this measure and be happy to answer any questions, Mr. Chairman. It has passed the subcommittee, is that correct? Yes, sir. I believe it passed subcommittee unanimously. Thank you, sir. Is there any discussion of the bill or the motion? If not, I ask for a motion on the bill. Second. All right. Is there any discussion of the motion? If not, I put the motion to you. All those who favor reporting to the full body the uh, uh, favorable uh, comments and action of this committee on Senate Bill 545, let it be known by the sound aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. And the ayes have it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Royal. I think that you have a bill, Ad Valorum uh, Subcommittee, on 597. What is the... Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, the House Subcommittee on Ad Valorum Tax reported a uh, due pass recommendation on Senate Bill 597. Who is going to speak to that bill, or is there anyone that's going to speak to it? Senator, you're here to speak to you, Bill. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, and uh, let me just comment on your little resolution. That was very, very moving, and and uh, and I did owe those sentiments to uh, the representative Cummins and his long tenure of service to the House representative and the people of the state of Georgia. Thank you, sir, for your service. Uh, in, a, in a nutshell, uh, members of the committee, what I'm just going to tell you what happened in this in this instance, uh, and it kind of lays the groundwork for the bill. The bill looks pretty simple, and it is simple. Um, we had a situation in coming part of our district where a property owner had a, a piece of property valued around $400,000. The Board of Tax Assessors uh, increased it by over 300% to $1.7 million. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the owners didn't agree with that, so they appealed first to the Board of Equalization, which is the standard process. The Board of Equalization then lowered the original value back to $400,000 in line with what they, their previous uh, assessment had been. Uh, at that point, the uh, Board of Tax Assessors uh, did not agree with that, and they appealed it uh, to the Superior Court. Uh, at which point the owners were not entitled to recover their uh, their cost under the current way that the statute's written, their cost of, of going to court, uh, even though the court uh, ended up agreeing with the owners. So what the bill does, very simply on line uh, 12, and I'm on LC 1853-47, is change that uh, Board of Equalization back to the Board of Tax Assessors um, because you're only going to go and you're going to appeal that uh, if the Board of Equalization does not agree with the owners. So uh, in a nutshell, that's the bill, and that's where we're at today and, and asking for a uh, favorable due pass for our bill. Yes, sir, Mr. Martin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I thank the Senator for bringing forward the bill. I know we've been in discussions. One of the things I had mentioned uh, to you earlier today is about a potential amendment if the committee would, would – uh, approve and, and allow us to do that with uh, by waving print, I would ask uh, again with the committee if you would entertain in Section 2 uh, a change that would strike on July 1st and replace it with upon governor's signature or upon becoming law without such a, uh, approval. So basically on line 18, um, if approved, my amendment would read, this act shall be become effective upon governor's signature or upon becoming law without such approval comma and shall apply reading out the same way if it, at the proper time if um, I can make that motion I'd just like yeah, you to comment would, as the author if you, you are in agreement with that. Be favorable to that uh, Thank you. Mr. Mr. Chairman at the proper time I'd like to be this recognized. This is the proper time would you state your motion? Yes sir I, I would move that we would amend um, I believe I'm correct but I'd move an amendment and then move for waiver of print is, if the amendment is approved is that correct Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, I would move uh, that on uh, LC 1853-47 that we strike 
um, on line 18 on July 1, 2006, and in its place, replace it with upon governor's signature or upon becoming law without such approval. That would be my motion, Mr. Chairman. You've heard the motion. Is there a discussion of the motion? Any questions to the maker of the motion? If not, we'll accept. Yes, sir, Mr. Flood. Okay, Mr. Chairman, uh, what is the practical effect of this change? Yes, sir. Uh, may I, I, I thank the gentleman for the question. Since it doesn't require anyone to prepare any documents or, or any process to be put in place. I think the practical effect is if this is a good idea for the citizens of Georgia, this just means it would apply sooner for those appeals that, that happen on or after governor's signature rather than those appeals that happen on or after July 1st. So if it's, if it's a good idea, I think it's as good as, as soon as it's passed by the House and the Senate and the <coughs> governor's signature. Further question of the maker of the motion, Mr. Flood? All right, Ms. Nan. Because currently, you, uh, the current language allows only if the, the, uh, the recovery of that in the case of the Board of Equalization, but uh, the only time that you're going to really uh, appeal that thing is if the Board of Equalization uh, is not agreeing you know, with the owner that you're going to go to court. So in, in that case, you cannot, it's basically the Board of Tax Assessors sets the, the uh, valuation of the property, and those are ones ultimately that you're going to have to deal with. And so this just allows you to collect there because, again, you're only going to go to court if, uh, if the Board of Equalization is not going to agree with your assessment. It's very seldom that the county actually comes back after uh, you've gone to Board of Equalization and then they have appealed it. And if they appeal it, now you're on your own against the county and their resources, which is our resources. Uh, and, again, you, you still have to be less than 85%. It has to come back that less than 85 percent. So this is really just level in the play, playing field uh, between the taxpayers and the county. does and I'll, and, and I'll let Joe uh, you know comment if it needs counsels uh, since he drew this up but following the tax assessors it says in addition to the interest provided shall recover cost of litigation and reasonable attorney's fees so that's in the section we're just saying that now uh, that if it's at the tax assess board of tax assessors level instead of the board of equalization because remember equalization is almost like a separate mediating entity out here the actual procedure is through the tax assessors and then the superior court if you don't have that that mediation. Mr. Isn't it also true that if the Board of Equalization finds for the landowner that the tax assessors can also take you for it also? That's which, correct. Which, which would also put you in a bind in, 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 the, in that way as far as you have to hire a lawyer and go to the superior court. That's correct. Any additional questions to Mr. Martin as the maker of the substitute? Any, any discussion on the bill as amended? If not, I put the motion to you. If you're ready for a vote on the amended bill, all the, you, you make the motion. Yes, sir. Second. Effective date as 
I'll accept that. Everyone ready to vote? All those who are in favor of the bill, Senate Bill 597, as substituted, please let it be known by the sound aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Members of the committee, appreciate it. We're, we're through. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>